Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back here, or back again today, because as of recording this, you've already seen one video today. Um, but I'm back here again today, and um, so this video is pretty much a one-time thing. I don't think I'm ever going to do it again. It, not because, like, it's such a painful experience because I haven't even started the video yet. But I'm just not that into Nerf. I'm not very into Nerf guns. I don't usually have Nerf Wars. I had, the last time I had a Nerf War was like two months ago. And that's basically the only reason I'm making this video. Or else all my Nerf guns would probably be in a Goodwill somewhere or something. But, um, so this is a review of the Strife. Um, and it was basically the first automatic, like, rifle in, in all of Nerf. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if it was the first, but it was, like, the one, the first good one. And it's kind of the last good one. I mean, they're all basically the same, except for they look different. Um, but, so, I have it built for you right here. Um, I will go into a more detailed look of into the gun um, in a sec. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with it. So starting off, we have the most simplistic design. It's what I like to call the Uzi design. I mean, it's basically just it with a 12 round clip and no attachment. So basically, it's just a machine pistol. So that's why it's called the Uzi. It's, um, not what I would like to use, but I mean, I don't know, it's usable, I just don't think that I would use it. And, for now, I have a 12 round clip in there with green bullets, green Nerf Elite bullets, but I don't, like, really think that I'm gonna, I don't, I think it comes with a 6 round clip, if it comes with a clip at all, I don't remember I didn't buy this, my brother did, a long time ago. Um, so let's go, so now let me add on a couple attachments. So here's a more simplistic, even like, well not simplistic, a less simplistic, but still like, better in my opinion, just because I don't really like, like the machine pistol design. It's just not what I would like to use, but this is basically the bare bone style, the almost bare minimum, not quite, but it's the style that if you were like going into a nerf war, you would be want to be using. Um, it basically, I just have the Uzi style with the clip or a uh, support on the back, and it does this style like, requires two hands, so it's a bit hard to like show this, but yeah um it's a lot easier to like maneuver and it's pretty stable um and that's that design and next up is my favorite design my favorite design that is for doing handheld so basically or not well yeah i'll explain why i said handheld in a bit um but it basically is just the standard bare bones design except for the grip and the stock and it's um it's pretty um easy to use it's a pretty clean design it's not like you have to reach super far out because i'm young and uh for adults that might be like this might not be an ideal but i don't think that there are too many adult nerfers anymore <laughs> nerfers is that even a term like do people use that term i don't know um but i when i had this nerf that nerf one that i was talking about if i mentioned that i already made one take about that or i already made one take and i think i mentioned it in that so i might not have mentioned it in this i don't i don't know i don't even know why i just said all that um <laughs> anyways and so it's pretty cool I guess, like, it's the best, it's my favorite version, um, and moving on, I'm gonna call it the long arm design, and you'll see why. So this is the long arm design, I do not personally like this design, I think it's 
way too long like it's not very practical i have to put my hand all the way forward and reach all the way forward to use it so it's not super practical for me um but you have to admit that it's like it's easier to use for adults because it's longer um this style and this is a style that I had shown at the very beginning of the video, if you're paying attention, and it's not very hard to, um, like, notice. But, um, this is not my preferred style. I really like just either without the barrel and without the grip, or just with this and the grip. I don't really like the barrel on there. I especially don't like it if the grip is on this like rail tactical rail is what the, they call it um, um because then the front is just flopping around the entire time and it's um, um not very good so now i'm going to show you what design i love like i really like what thing i like doing with this nerf gun so this is what i like doing with my Nerf guns, and you're probably like, what the heck even is that? So basically, you take, if you, any of you guys have a punching bag, you take the bag part off of this little part right here that's like the base that holds the bag on. Then you set it upside down on the floor, and there should be this empty hollow area. And then you just place the gun right here, and it's basically a turret. Now, at the Taekwondo camp that I told you about a little bit ago, they have, like, you know, they obviously have bags, because it's, it's Taekwondo, but the bags were a lot skinnier, so the handle was not right here, like, on the bag. I mean, it was, like, right there, but the handle was, um not on top of the bag like this it was over here because the bags are a lot skinnier there and also i could stand all the way up and shoot like this but i can't do that right now so i kind of have to kneel down oh whoops oh jesus sorry about this i have an ipad if you can't tell um and it's kind of hard to vlog with an ipad or film with an ipad but this is the design that I really like to use because it's basically a turret because the bag is cover and then the semi-automatic. Jesus, it jams so much. It, it like, stops shooting so much. Sometimes you just have to smack it right here or open up and see if, like, the bullet isn't at the top. And it is. And we should be good to go. No, we aren't, but... You already said, see, saw it shoot once. That's good enough. Um, so that's what I like to do with this bag. And by the way, you have the grip off of the handrail right there. So yeah, um, that is basically all for now. Anyways, guys, that's a review of the Nerf um, Strife. I know it's kind of a longer video or an unusual video. I probably won't do this again because I don't. I have a lot of Nerf guns, but most of the time I don't really want to review. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm trying to get my channel to 20 subscribers because we just hit 10 subscribers. And if you didn't see the special already, go check it out. It's nothing special, and I'm not super enthusiastic, but I was also trying to be quiet. I don't know why, but I was. And, yeah, without, um, without delay, um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!